Lightspeed is something that's grown to be commonly accepted in recent years by people who partake in various debates regarding Bleach, but there are still some who take issue with Bleach characters reaching these tiers of speed or potentially don't completely understand the arguments for characters within the manga reaching this level. So I decided to make a video today talking about the major Lightspeed arguments or statements given to us throughout the Bleach manga and various data books, while also addressing some common misconceptions or debunks surrounding Lightspeed and Bleach. I will keep my opinion out of this video for the most part and will opt to instead simply present the information to you and let you form your own conclusions as you would like. The most recognizable as well as arguably the most contentious right off the bat would be the idea that Seros fired by the Menos Grande group of Hollows moves at the speed of light. There are two different statements for this, the first being from Databook One Souls defining the Cero as the destructive beam that Menos Grande released from their mouths. Soul Reapers refer to it as a doom blast. As you can see here, the data book directly refers to the Cero as a destructive beam, with beam defined by the Oxford Languages Dictionary as a ray or shaft of light. The second statement comes from data book 2 Mast, which defines the Cero as a powerful spiritual light fired by Menos Grande and Arankars. Many take issue with the spiritual light portion of the statement since they believe there has to be some kind of difference between the concept of spiritual light and the light that makes up our real world that debunks the idea that the Cero moves at light speed. I've been guilty of making the same mistake in the past and in previous videos on my channel, but I'd like to set the record straight today and say that this is not the case. The matter that makes up the world of the living or our real world is known in the Bleach universe as Kishi. Things that are spiritual, however, are made up from something known as Reishi or spirit particles. We learn from chapter 70 as Urahara is explaining his spirit particle conversion gate that Kishi and Reishi are essentially analogous to one another, with the only discrepancy between the two being that Reishi makes up the spiritual matter of things within the soul society as well as souls themselves, the same way Kishi makes up the matter of the world around us as well as ourselves. This follows even more so when looking at other pieces of evidence such as the infamous excerpt from Databook 1 page 96 directly affirming that these two worlds, referring to the world of the living and the soul society, are two sides of the same coin and analogous to one another. This means that a spiritual light would be no different than the light of our real world and thus light speed should be permissible for a Cero or other light based attacks throughout Bleach, which we will continue to cover over the course of this video. This one is somewhat brief and potentially isn't as concrete, but I feel it is still worth at least a brief mention. That being when Ichigo first uses the Getsuga Tensho against Byakuya on Sogyoku Hill and in response, Byakuya refers to the Getsuga Tensho as a flash. The phrase flash is defined by Oxford Languages Dictionary as a sudden brief burst of light or a sudden glint from a reflective surface. Synonyms include phrases like beam or ray. Okiyor later on also says that the Getsuga Tensho is similar to the Seros used by Hollows, which we've already been over, meaning that the Getsuga Tensho could be interpreted as another light based or light speed attack. Next up may be just as controversial as Seros, but it also takes place on Sogyoku Hill when characters like Yoroichi and Soifan demonstrate the ability to react to the negacion fired by the Menos Grande group of Hollow as well. Not only does Captain General Yamamoto refer to the negacion as light twice, but Databook 1 page 259 also defines the negacion as the beam of light that the Menos Grande used to save their comrades. Things outside of the light and things inside it are unable to interact with each other. The light creates a completely isolated void. While I personally find it more than acceptable for characters like Yoroichi or Soifon to be considered light speed given their reputation as members of the On Mitsukido Stealth Force as well as Yoroichi's title of Flash Goddess, some may take issue with the lieutenants such as Rongiku or Shuhei Hisage who arguably react to this attack as well being considered light speed, but I leave that to your own discretion. We don't get much mention of another light based attack until much later in chapter 345 during Okiyora's third and final encounter with Ichigo in Huecomundo, where atop Las Noches and after going into his first release, he utilizes his Luz de la Luna against Ichigo, the name of which roughly translates to the light of the moon or moonlight, and an excerpt from Data Book 3 Unmasked page 149 refers to this attack as a sword of light or a light blade. However, I will say that this may not constitute a light speed attack given that it isn't a projectile moving on its own and it requires its user approaching their opponent with it or the speed of their own arm as they throw it, as opposed to the light based attack moving on its own. The next light based attack follows shortly behind in chapter 349, after second release Okiora has killed Ichigo. Oyu then decides to attack Okiora himself and uses his leak Draihin, which translates to mean rain of light, down upon Okiora, who then reacts to and proceeds to take zero damage from it. Our second commonly cited debunk for light speed throughout the series is one that's been around for quite some time and that some people still cite to this day, that being Gin's Bankai. In chapter 399, Gin and Ichigo have an encounter where they recall the details of the last time they met at the gate of the Serate, but after which Gin decides to quiz Ichigo on the abilities of his Zanpak toe. At first, Gin attempts to throw Ichigo off by telling him about how far his sword can extend, but even after minimal exposure and time with it, Ichigo comes to the conclusion that it's not how far the Bankai can extend or its power that's the focal point, but is 
instead the speed at which it extends or retracts that's the scariest thing about it. Gein does state that this is his Bonkai's ability after Ichigo says this to him, but what's important to us is what follows, where Gein claps his hands and then says that the speed of Kamishini no Yari is only 500 times the sound of the clap. Those against the idea of Lightspeed and Bleach use this to say that characters at this Aronka arc period of the story therefore cannot reach Lightspeed, as Gein is still a fairly strong character at the time of the statement. The biggest issue with this however is that Gein is notorious for hiding his true strength and having lied to everyone about his abilities this entire time. In fact, this is the case with this very moment, as later on he admits to Aizen that his Zanpak toe doesn't extend as far as he said, neither is it as fast as he said, directly confirming that it's not his Bankai's ability. Therefore, using this as a means to debunk the idea of Bleach characters being capable of moving at light speed is a little short-sighted. There is a passage from Data Book 3 on Mass, page 46, that does state that his Bankai surpasses the speed of sound, but for one, that doesn't mean that only moving faster than the speed of sound has to necessarily be where it caps, but the same data book later on page 137 in fact declares that this too is a lie to conceal the true ability of Gein Zanpak To. It wouldn't make much sense either for characters within this period of the story to only just recently be surpassing the speed of sound, considering that we've been given implications of far higher speed much earlier on all the way back in the Soul Society arc, namely from an excerpt originating out of data book 1 page 206 stating that, like lightning, Ichigo pressures Byakuya with godlike speed and attacks him at close range. Even if you hold the stance that this statement is simply a metaphor to hype up the speed of Ichigo's Bankai, my point is that it would make no sense for the data books to go from using lightning speed to impress the reader to then hyping something up that's only surpassing the speed of sound. So Gein's Bankai is not a defeater for Bleach characters reaching the speed of light. Our next example is yet another light-based attack or what could potentially be interpreted as one. That being when member of the Stern Ritter, S or the Superstar, Mass to Masculine, shoots what he describes as his hero's beam of light before it pierces through Rose. After discovering that Rose is somehow still not dead, he decides to shoot the beam once more, which is then intercepted by Renji as he returns to the Serite from his rigorous training at the Royal Palace. This pairs nicely with Uryu's aforementioned Likiraihen or Reign of Light, as the two are both Quincy and therefore their abilities or projectiles should share similar properties, so if you believe one is light speed, then it should also lend credence to the other. But this fittingly leads into our next example which, similarly to Seros or the Negacion, the Oshwellen Light is generally what's looked at as another method for Bleach characters to reach these tiers of speed, likely because it's closer to the conclusion of the Thousand Year Blood War arc and many find it more so tolerable for end of series level characters to be this fast. Regardless, in Chapter 603, after his Royal Guard is defeated by Squad Zero, Yuha uses the Oshwellen Light to take power from the Quincy fighting below and the Serite to distribute it among those fighting up at the Royal Palace, with some Sturmhooter such as Lil Lampard demonstrating the speed to dodge it. Once again, given that these attacks are used by Quincy's, if you believe the prior two Quincy attacks we've covered should indeed move at the speed of light, then the Oshwellen should once again follow with or add credence to those as well. As a side note, the Oshwellen, as well as other things moving between the Serite and the Royal Palace such as the Mimihagi, may likewise constitute light speed or even much higher based on how you yourself may go about calculating the distance between between the royal palace and the Serite, what the time it takes them to arrive there. However, I won't really be going in depth about those at this time since we're just doing the bare minimum stuff here and coming close to the end of the video. Another commonly cited example of light based attacks throughout Bleach is in chapter 650 when Lele Barra utilizes what he declares to be both his light of judgment and his light of purity while in his vault standing. This is especially noteworthy when considering that, at the time, Lieutenant of 8th Company Nanao Ise, someone who doesn't change much if at all throughout the series, is then shown capable of reacting to and reflecting this light with the power of her newly acquired Zanpak Toe in Chapter 652. A few people that I've discussed in now reacting to this light with in particular have disregarded these showings by claiming that she doesn't have any definitive links to anyone else in the series since she doesn't do much fighting in the time that she's on screen. But this is an easily solvable issue when remembering that back in the Soul Society arc now directly admits that her captain, Kiraku Shunsui, outspeeds or is faster than her. Shunsui then later goes on to fight Aizen alongside other captains like Soifan or Toshiro, with Soifan out of the three in particular catching Aizen's attention with her speed, noting that her doppelgangers are a very nice performance, with another instance of Soifan being noted as one of the faster members of the Gote, being when her lieutenant Omida states that nobody in the 13 court guard companies can evade Baragon's attacks after he manages to tag Soifan. I know some of you may already be saying, there's no way that Soifan can be the fastest member of the Gote 13 when she's way weaker than Shunsui or potentially 
even lower end captains such as Komamura. But take into consideration that it's been demonstrated to us before that speed isn't everything in Bleach. For example, looking at other characters such as Omari Roro, who has the fastest Sonido of any Espada, as stated by himself, as well as reiterated in Data Book 2 Mast, page 186, yet he's still only ranked number 7 among his Aronkar peers and nowhere near the strongest. But as I've said earlier, this is left to you to draw your own conclusion. But that about wraps it up in regards to everything I have to say about the idea of Lightspeed and Bleach, bringing us to the end of the video. While this certainly wasn't an exhaustive list, I hope I was still able to properly demonstrate why someone may consider Bleach characters to move at the speed of light or even higher here for you today, but I have plenty of other Bleach content on my channel for you to check out if you're interested, like my recent video ranking the Shootstoffel or other more traditional versus battle videos such as Yamamoto vs Aizen. But I will continue to upload more videos in the future about Bleach as well as a variety of other topics that you can find here on my channel. So subscribe for free to be notified of what I get up to in the future such as when I upload or stream. Like the video to support both the channel and myself as well as let me know that this is the type of content you want to see. Comment down below if I missed anything or with any suggestions you may have for the future. Thank you all for watching and have a blessed day.